You know, the, this guy's route to the NHL was quite unique because he first came to major prominence by being an NCAA champion with Wisconsin, then ended up in the OHA, then got drafted, then played in the NHL, and in his only penalty minutes he ever received as a major league player, he took on one of the most toughest fighters in NHL history, Rick McClish. But when he went to college in the States, there would have been a lot of pressure on him, but it wasn't, even though he was a nephew, one of the most famous hockey players in Canadian history. I don't think too many people in Wisconsin would know who Howie Meeker is, but his nephew, Mike Meeker, was well known because, again, he helped that side to an NCAA title game victory over Michigan in 1977. Now, uh, Mike Meeker, born uh, P uh, home to, uh, Kingston, Ontario, but called Ottawa was his hometown, eventually found his way being drafted 25th overall in a 78 uh, draft in the second round. Highly regarded. Now, first came to uh, junior prominence, with the peed of the COJHL at 75. Decided to go to Wisconsin. Now, 77, his his big year, where he won the Memorial Cup, he had 53 points in 41 games and 26 goals. Now, at the time, he was only uh, 18 years old uh, for the majority of the season. Now, in 1978, he played four games with Wisconsin, then moved over to Peterborough as an overage uh, junior, almost, with 69 points in 44 games. Now, he won the NCAA title with uh, with them in 77. Uh, he had a goal and assist in a 6-5 overtime NCAA title game win over, uh, again, Michigan. Now, he was rated in the Hockey News draft preview as a number 18 overall prospect for the 78 draft because those numbers with Peterborough drew a lot of attention. Now, What's ironic here, he played in the 78 OMJHL Playoffs and Moral Cup Tournament with a broken hand, so it shows his resilience. Now, his first game was November 25th, 78, Philadelphia at Pittsburgh, and McClish and uh, Young Meeker threw down the gloves. Now, he only played four games in the NHL, but he had he played with the two jersey numbers, 8 and 16. Now, he eventually found his way uh, with Bennington uh, in 1979, where he was the AHL Garrett Award Rookie of the Year. Now, another bad injury that really hurt his prospects early on was a, was a back injury that he uh, suffered during that 78-79 uh, season. Now, just look at the raw stats again. With the Broom Dusters in 79, where the Broom Dusters had moved over to AHL, 65 points in 75 games, including 30 goals, and again, enough time to play four games with Pittsburgh. And that was the end of his big uh, big career. Now, 5'11", 184, and you, you see him, the pitcher, looks like a rugged guy. So he made his mark because to win uh, with Wisconsin, Wisconsin was up against a lot of regional rivals in the WCHA back in the day. But Mike, again, uh, you can never take away a national title from you and Mike was a great player good skills I saw him play in Pittsburgh I think Pittsburgh the one game he played was against I'm thinking in Chicago maybe I saw a few a few uh, I'm thinking Chicago I could be wrong but like I said uh, anybody who asked him and Meeker he had some hockey skill because all the Meekers are great athletes as you know the extended family so Mike Meeker again not say a one year wonder with the 77 title but in the from 76 to 79 just like a shining light uh, like I said 12 uh, 26, 39, and 30 goals combined in those campaigns. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. So that's the story of the uh, short career but successful career of the, the nephew of Howie, Mike Meeker. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our Vintage Podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, keep your stick in the ice. Bye.